this is the project that we have created right now this project contains some files I'll be uh, discussing briefly about them come here so first is the package.json file it contains the information regarding the application that regarding the project first one is the package name that we had given and this is the version <coughs> and this is the index.js which is the main js where our javascript code will be remaining so uh, first of all uh, uh, it contains nothing much of now go to the config.xml file this is very important file here we maintain the uh, our uh, app properties like orientation full screen status bar hiding or not hiding application name application icons etc so this is the very important file again uh, go to the www folder here we have some files first is index.html <coughs> so what you need to do is now uh, you need to go to www folder and delete everything from there now go to your html5 game that you want to convert into apk i have can catch the candy and copy everything inside from inside the folder and go to your Cordova project and paste it into under www folder uh, now you need to add a platform platform can be android ios or windows phone so i'll be uh, adding android command is here Cordova platform add android before that you need to change your directory to current project which is candy monster and then add platform don't forget to change your path from Cordova app to your game folder this is your current game folder in that I am adding a platform called android uh, right now if you see we have a platform folder but it is empty there is no platform added here soon we will have android there hit enter this will take some time to add platform into our project You can use the similar command for iOS. In Cordova, if you want to access some hardware like uh, camera, then you uh, here Cordova provide us plugins which can be used to access the hardware feature from the application. So our uh, uh, platform is added now now you can see here the android folder has been added and now it contains some files this is completely android project you can open it in android studio <coughs> now the we have done almost 50 percent work now <coughs> next command will be cordova requirement this is the uh, command that help us to know what else code are required to make apk for this particular platform that we have added this command will check the requirement for the android so uh, it requires jdk android sdk and android target sdk and gradle <coughs> so these are the for software that we need to install on our computer so in order to install JDK which is the Java development kit 
you can go to this link i'll give this link in description go to your browser and hit enter before download uh, before you start downloading you should check if uh, java is installed on your computer or not in order to check you can uh, type a command java minus minus b this will show i think it's minus b not minus b this is complete command java minus version so i already have installed java runtime environment jre and jdk so uh, i have uh, both of them installed on my computer uh, if you do not have this if you get an error after typing that command java version then you can go to browser and install the download the particular jdk for your computer this is the 64 bit windows and you can uh, choose your operating system accordingly so i'll not be downloading it but if you do not have java installed on your computer you need to download and install it on your computer after every uh, and then you need to install android studio on your computer which is uh, which can you can download from here if you already have downloaded android sdk or android studio then you can skip this step this is android studio latest version you can download from here and install it on your pc after installation when you give the command like uh, cordova requirement then you may get some error even if you have installed everything then also you will get error uh, the reason is uh, we didn't have set the path we didn't set the paths for this SDK, uh, SDK that we have installed right now so we will set path uh, see carefully this is the most important part uh, people get uh, confused here type in search bar type system environment variable go to environment variable now you in user variable in user section you need to add android home you need to create a new uh, new variable from here and give the name as android home i already have given and uh, give the path of the sdk if you have installed android studio on your computer then uh, there will be a path given to your sdk mine is c drive android sdk you can see c drive android sdk this is the path of android sdk and this is the name of the variable similarly you can give the gradle <coughs> path you can download this gradle i will give you the link and give the path uh, for the gradle you do not need to install it just download it and keep it in c folder and give the path from there uh, actually you can see i have uh, downloaded gradle and copy and pasted it in here i will give you this zip file you can do the same and add this path here in this variable gradle home and this is java home if you have installed jdk then you will be you will have to add this path in this variable you can go to uh, in order to find that jdk path you can go to c drive program files and java jdk bin copy this path and create that create a new variable called uh, not bin you have to exclude bin from the here because uh, java home is like jdk path give till the jdk for example so um, one more thing you need to add your jdk path here also in the path variable and 
you can uh, add this npm path also that is not necessary by the way so i think everything is done here yeah for the user variable we have done everything now come to system section this is system variable section come to path hit enter you can see the path i have added these are the most important part if you do not do this you will get error so these are the paths that you need to add in your system variable this is the first one is the node.js path where your node.js is installed this will be installed this was the first software we had installed give the path from there and paste it here and jdk and this is the android platform build platform tools which is under your sdk this is android home which is uh, indicating that uh, user variable which is sdk path and under that platform tool if you go to the android sdk then you will find your platform tools go to android uh, not in c drive android sdk here you will be seeing platform tools here so you will have to add this path there after that you need to add the gradle path and under the gradle you need to select bean notice here uh, you need to include bean also now you need to add this path android home which is uh, sdk path and slash tools this path you can type this complete path from here or you can use uh, that uh, user variable that we had created android home instead of this much now you need to add tools bean folder and again the gradle path and uh, this is the jre path which will be under uh, jdk under the java folder and the build tool and this is the important thing build tool you need to add the path for the build tool here this build tool will be installed if you op uh, if there is uh, nothing here if you are getting error that you don't have any build tool then you can install it from android studio go to there go to this uh, setting i think it is sdk manager it is called sdk manager here it is sdk manager and select the version and download apply ok and it will start downloading and then you can find those setting there and find those uh, folders here and you need to add a path for 28.0.3 to this system variable notice that this is very important part otherwise they will be keep getting errors you can reverse the video in order to see the proper environment variable setup <coughs> now i have uh, set it all the path now we can uh, build our project gradle is important to build for the building the apk so now we can uh, build our project cordova build android debug mean we are uh, producing a debug apk which is not a release apk it is for the testing purpose so everything is perfect going perfect uh, we, it will take to, it will take some time because uh, we are installing uh, we are generating building the project for first time uh, from the second time it will not take that much time suppose if you <coughs> if you want to do some changes in your application then you can do sure in this folder www folder if you want to change the if you want any change in your app game then you can do changes here suppose uh, i want to change the title for this i can change it here and changes will reflect after that you need to build the apk then generated apk see uh, now apk has been created and uh, on this path this is the apk path you can find the debug apk just paste that path here 
and you will reach there this is the apk that you can install on your android phone or uh, if you want to run the <coughs> directly run this uh, apk on your uh, android phone then you can connect your phone via usb and enable developer mode developer uh, debugging mode in your android application uh, sorry android phone and then give this command suppose i am going to attach my phone right now phone has been attached now i run want to enter so uh, the application will be installed on my phone and i'll be using it <coughs> but one more important thing is uh, you need to do one change which is uh, we need to add a script src which is equal to see uh, installation has been done apk has been uh, installed on my com uh, mobile phone i can play the game right now it's working perfectly fine but uh, i would suggest you to do this part source equal to cordova dot j i know this is not available here anywhere but this uh, project is uh, not the whole files from the ww folder is copied to the platform you can see those files are being copied here in assets in uh, ww assets here you can see the cordova.js file and your index file will be here and this will be cordova.js from there, there it will be fetching uh, right now it is not there because we need to build the project if you build the project you will see the cordova.js update here you see here so uh, this is the thing if you want to know anything else about the cordova then uh, you can write me on comment you can write anything if you want to implement admob in your application then you can also ask me that i will uh, give you i will uh, post a another video post another video on admob how to add admob to your uh, app and uh, how to uh, do uh, multiple mediations in your uh, application to uh, get more revenue like that so thanks Thanks for watching.